I promised uh, about a week ago to do a little video on how I rigged these red October tubes. Just a little bit about, uh, I guess, efficiency and percentages first. There's a lot of tremendous plastic, soft plastic lures out there now. I, they're all great. Frankly, I've been using these red October tubes for a long time. One thing I want to point out is I, I always think about games of percentages to a certain extent. If fish are in the mood for plastic or a bucktail or whatever, I want the most efficient, best hooking uh, bait of that category if possible. One thing I like about the red October tubes, they're hollow, so they squish. You don't have as much of a opportunity for the fish to actually get their teeth sunk in. You get better hooking percentages overall. That's one thing I've always liked about them. Now the other thing uh, that it allowed me to do, I had the brainstorm uh, in working with Livingston Lures here a while ago when they came out with these Livingston bullets. They're an inline sound maker, distress bait fish sounds. And I thought, well, we can put these on well, bucktails, anything with a wire, any, you know, anything like that. And I'm like, oh, and these are nice and hollow. So uh, ever since I started using the Red October tubes, for the most part, I've made my own rigs. And it's really fairly simple. Uh, I've got a couple of tubes here. And all you, all you need really to tie wire is a pair of pliers and a cutters. And in some cases, two pairs of pliers, but it's really not all that complicated. The one thing, oh, uh, when you add weight, one thing you definitely want to do at first when you're, when you're doing your own tubes, you definitely want to put a bumper in front, get some, get some heavy tubing or something like that, put a bumper in front, get your weights here. I, there's weight in this sound bullet, so you've got extra weight there too. But then very simply, you just want to, you, you're basically measuring up against that tube where you want things. So I've got my, my first dropper hook about where I want it, right on the head of the bait. And I've got this, this back tie. I want my back treble hook. Basically the, the point of my treble hook I want at the end of these tentacles right here. So that's how I'm picking length and stuff. The same thing with this bigger bait. Now this is a bigger tube here. Now you see I've got a double hook system. Whoop. And I've actually added this, that's a swinger uh, inside that may give me a little different action. But here again, that's all I did. Let's measure the tube, get my droppers put out. I want the, uh, I want this back hook. Well, about right, about a half inch away from the back of the tentacles. And then of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie this there. So you can try a bunch of different things. You can add more weight, eliminate weight for where you wanna be in the water column. And then just very quickly, if you've never done it before, uh, making a loop is no problem. This is a general old rusty pair of pliers. By the way, you got to be really impressed with the cleanliness of my workbench here, but you'd be amazed at what I've built over the years here, actually. But you basically just bend the wire right over the pliers, and then you grab here, you bend back like that, to make a loop, grab there, just pull, and then a few wraps. And then you cut that off. Now, uh, for making these hook droppers, you basically, you know, you wanna make them so they're hanging through the tube. So I hold, the, I hold that wire right by the tube and I get a guesstimate of how deep I wanna be so that I, I stick through that tube. And that's really not all that hard either. You get your, get your spot where you wanna go and you just basically try and make your, your 90 degree angle. You may have to tweak it a little bit. Okay, I'm, I, I had guesstimated that I need to be about there. Then you grab another bend here. You gotta kinda push that together. And then what I, uh, what I'll generally do is uh, make a little wrap like this so that I should have, normally I would have that cut off there. But you go one wrap essentially before you go back to your, your rear hook or in the case of having a double hook system, then you could do another one right here. But it's real, it's real easy to bend wire. It's not rocket science and it's kind of fun and it allows you to do a lot of different things. 
And I'm just really excited about, uh, you know, the, especially these tubes that are shallower running and, and kind of hang in the water column, adding this sound, a little different weight. The weight's gonna slide. I think I'm gonna get different actions, but it's fun and it can be really effective and get you more fish.